ahead and roll out of uh, the turns out of the point now to head uh, to the river. No, we're going to this 12 mile island. It's oh, okay. kind of yeah, straight ahead over here. I didn't see it had that much of a We turn could have, I just don't want to waste time. Yeah, yeah. So now kind of straight ahead this way. Alright. Yeah. Whenever we get up here, I'm going to let them know who we are, where we are, and what we're going to do. So okay. we're going to be over 12 mile, or Bowman Tower, 988 Whiskey Uniform, over 12 Mile Island, inbound for pattern work with information Zulu. So that's what those radio calls are going to sound like. So a little more to the right. Basically just due west. Yeah, kind of a little right here. That kind of block where it looks like the river's kind of blocked. I see it. That's 12 Mile Island. You're doing a very good job of holding altitude and everything. Especially on this bumpy weather. So on a day when it's smooth, you're going to be like, wow, this is a breeze. I hope that's the case because I am struggling to no. <laughs> keep it under control. No, you're doing a very good job. Thank you. I'm not one to tell you you're doing everything right. It, you're not. So. My mom says I can be mean sometimes. I never say anything <laughs> mean. I just tell it like it is. Nothing wrong with the truth. I just think I would want someone to tell me like it is. I'm not trying to. Yeah, especially something like this. Like, yeah, like you want to know what you're you working on. I mean, I would never be like, oh, that's terrible. I'd be like, okay, now look. November 5, 3, Charlie, runway 240, clear to land, wind, 220. And you can pull that power to 1500 feet. 1500 to 1500. And just keep me going towards 12 Mile Island. Good catch there. <laughs> yeah, I almost, I almost <laughs> let go of it. Very good. I'll tell you this, I'll probably tell you a thousand times you're going to get tired of hearing my voice probably say the same thing over and over again. So just that's alright. Well, that's how I'm going to learn. Repetition. Whenever my student did his cross country, he was like, your verse voice is burned and I'm in brown. <laughs> Good. It's probably things that they won't forget, though. Well, it's just like, whenever we're flying along, it's like, okay, who do we need to talk to next? Like, what do I need to be doing? What do I need to check the weather? That sort of thing. Uh, there's going to be someone coming. Uh. Hear me a little to the right. Add a little power. So add power? Yeah, add a little bit of power, trying to get here a little faster. There's someone coming towards 12 Mile Island, coming out here. They're climbing out now, but... A little more power is that No, this is good. And get me back up to 5, 1,500 feet, please. Oh, sorry. Oh, I see him. Well, that's... Oh, that's not the uh, track you're know, looking for? It might be. I think, yeah. Maybe? Is this one showing they're coming out this way? I wonder, it could be that one. Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't know, I don't trust the ADSB all the way, so I... Yeah, no, it was a different plane. They're five miles out. They're going to be over there about 100 feet above us. Traffic is hard to spot sometimes, so it's just... Towers of nine or eight eight uniform over twelve mile on the Zulu about for pattern work. Just a nine eight eight uniform moment tower into the right base runway two four. Right base runway two four eight uniform. Okay. We'll just fly right over here and then so I'm gonna hit this direct. Activate. See how it's giving us that straight magenta line? Yes. That's point us back to the airport. Watch that nose down, we don't want to. In Bumatai, experimental 972, Jimmy Asira, with Zulu is nine miles to the southeast inbound. Okay, there's that traffic over there. You see that? They're under our left wing. You see that little... Yeah. 972, Jimmy Asira, Bowman Tower. I saw the second ago. Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. Sorry. That's the two 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 Okay, so now, then we back going towards the airport. I just wanted to make sure that we were clear of them. Oh, okay. this altitude, so we took off runway 24. Yep. And now they want us to enter our right base. 
So then that's what I'm going to show you. We're going to do, I'll do a go around, show you what that looks like. And then I'll show you a, the traffic pattern, how that'll look. So that when, next time we fly, you'll be more familiar with it. Is it always a uh, right pattern at Bowen? No, it can be right or left. It's okay. whatever they give you. But we will be entering on that right base. Coming in. The moment's kind of hard to see right now, so we just want to make sure we're not turning at all. That's going right about here, so okay. You can barely see it, it's that light kind of patch of break in between the trees straight ahead. Very, very faint. Uh, I I it's think hard. I see the roof of the Cajun Tower, yeah, which so is really close to the, the right, and you see kind of how it looks like there's a tiny little just sliver of break in the trees. I think I see it. I can't be certain. Okay, well, that's the airport. If you can find, so I always recommend just finding landmarks and something to keep your situational awareness up. So that Cajun Tower is a good one. You can know, okay, I see Caden Tower, airport's going to be to the right a little bit. We have a GPS also around here that's up on us. 2-4, we'll do land for 2-2 here. Yeah, up to 1,500, please. That neighborhood right there fascinates me with that little, like, lake thing. Because they have some big drop-offs right there, see it? Oh, yeah. On those clips, I don't understand it. Remember, 5-3 Charlie, left Alpha 3 and stay parking. West T, please. R3 Charlie, taxi to West T, the Alpha Delta, just the uh, monitor ground. Yeah, Alpha Delta, the monitor ground. Right there, perfect. So, see that kind of break in the trees? That lighter out there, straight ahead of us? Yes. That's the airport. Gotcha. Yep, I see it now. So, we're going to go. We want to be going towards it. Don't want to get too far from it. You have controls? So right about here. No, I'm just oh, helping okay. you get back on that heading. Okay. Kind of lock this one in. Losing my altitude again. Ooh. And sometimes whenever you're starting to learn, like a lot of my students, they want to drift to the left without really meaning to. I don't have your heading bug or anything. I should could do that for you. Well, rudders are uh, definitely a weak point of mine. Remembering to They're uh, use a them. point of a lot of people, so you are not alone on that one. So now get your wings level for this one, okay. and we're just going straight to the airport. And I'm going to bug the runway heading. I don't fly that heading, but we're just going to bug okay. it. I definitely see the airport now. Yeah. Runway 24, clear for the option on the go, make left close traffic. Clear for the option, runway 24, left close traffic on the go, eight with uniform. Uh, so, the runway is oriented this way. So, we're going to be wanting to enter on 90 degree. Okay, yeah, yeah. About here. So, we're just kind of looking out so we can see where the end of the runway would be. And so, you got those wings level for me right here. And whenever I say wings level, I just mean. Don't turn. Okay. And if I say bring that nose to the horizon, or that means just straight level. Like, okay. Like straight level flight, you're not climbing, descending. Wings level just means the wings level. Gotcha. There's some stuff that I say that like my flight instructor and his other instructors have said to me, and it can come across as confusing. So if anything ever confuses you, please let me know. Okay. Okay, so you can kind of get me started pointing towards Caden Tower. A little less bank, we're just going to be, everything okay. through here is about just... November 2, Juliet Sierra, start safe parking. Left to you. Number 2, Juliet Sierra, roger, turn left alpha 2, contact ground, have a good night. Contact ground, Juliet Sierra. So we don't want to keep that nose coming down, we just want to capture that 1500 and keep it right there. Now uh, coming around, so now see how we're about to be... 
90 degrees from 247 Echo Sierra, Bowman Tower, right on course to India 690, runway 24, clear for takeoff, land at 200 at 6. And the right turn on course, clear for takeoff, runway 24, about 15, so right. Right, whiskey uniform, Cessna traffic departing. Oh, we look at that traffic, whiskey uniform. Okay, so. Southbound, I'm at the Calicot 460, off, I go to the tower, it's a new departure. We're and we're below 110 knots, so put in that first notch. Move our 460 Alpha Echo, Bowman Tower, Roger. Uh, okay. Stand by for your departure. So now that first notch is going to cause us to balloon a little bit. So we're adding in that forward pressure just to keep that nose. Alpha Echo, are you medevac status? Steady descent.